it's a video about the removal of the positive crankcase ventilation valve or the PCV valve. This is a 2010 Mitsubishi Outlander 2.4 petrol engine. Uh, that's the, I've already removed it. That's the valve there. It's an unusual one because it's actually got a threaded end that goes into the uh, uh, the tappet cover or the rocket cover. And the other end goes into the hose. When you first take it off, if you're not familiar with them or you haven't seen one before, which I hadn't, because this is my son's car, um, the hose goes onto this end and the other end screws in there. You can see the threaded threaded end. Uh, you just gently prise the, the uh, rubber hose off the end and, uh, and then unscrew it. It's a 23mm socket. Uh, will undo it. Uh, I'll use that rather than adjustable spanner uh, because you get a better grip and uh, you don't really want to damage these. The, I'm not sure how much they cost overseas but in Australia they're quite expensive that particular uh, variety of uh, valve. Um, after you've unscrewed it there is a procedure which is all over YouTube so you won't have any problem seeing it. You just push that back into the tube so it's sealed, start the car, get a piece of stiff cardboard and put it over the end and if it holds it against it and sucks quite hard it means the valve is actually operating correctly. Um, I did that and it is but I sprayed it anyway. I used um, throttle body uh, cleaner or carby cleaner and quite a lot of residue came out. You blast from this end because that's obviously you it's going in this direction so you blow from the threaded end and it came out and there was quite a lot of uh, uh, oil which is quite obvious because it uh, oil fumes or whatever go through it and uh, then I finished it off using uh, MAF or uh, mass airflow sensor cleaner because it dries quite quickly and, and clean so uh, but anyway before I put it back in or before I sealed all up I'll, I'll check it again just to make sure but it you can hear that rattle apparently that's uh, it means it's not all gummed up inside which it it isn't and uh, right anyway the part numbers if you need them that's them there so you'll have to pause the video in case you want to look at those now there is a difference in price between the ones for Mitsubishi and the ones for Nissan however I I've, cannot see any reason uh, that, that suggests or anything that should suggest that uh, there's any difference between the Nissan and the Mitsubishi ones so uh, absolutely identical and uh, so shop around and for some weird reason on all the information I can find the Nissan ones are half the price of the Mitsubishi ones even though they're the same the same valve and uh, another one of life's mysteries all right then thank you very much